Hi guys, Misty and Sherry here with Queen Bee's Vintage. Good afternoon, everybody. So we weren't really expecting to film today, but um, we went to Hobby Lobby to get a hook for one of our projects and oops, we did it again. They were having an amazing sale, so we have quite a little haul to share with you guys. So we wanted to hop on quickly and show you that way. If you see things in this haul that you love, maybe you can run out to your Hobby Lobby and take advantage of some of these great prices. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're one of our regulars, thank you so much for joining today. So what we're gonna start with are these amazing corbels. These were $39.95. No, these ones were $34.99. Oh. The ones that weren't on sale were the other price. So these were regularly $34.99 on sale for $8.74. So we ended up with four of these. And what's really cool about these is you could hang a single one on the wall with some a small piece of art behind it and a little something on top. You could use these as shelf brackets and put a shelf on top. These make really awesome bookends. You can also just put them like this on a table or in a vignette together. So there's tons of different things that you guys can do with these corbels. And for $8.74, this was a steal. So like I said, we got four of these. We got two of these awesome bottles, and they it's probably hard to show on camera, but the bottle itself has a lot of detail on it too underneath this wiring. Um, they remind me of the old vintage glass, like water bottles, the big ones, but a small version with this wire wrapping. So to me, this is farmhouse. This could be nautical. This could be shabby chic with a, a beautiful pastel floral arrangement coming out the top. These are, these are great. These would be really pretty on a shelf in a bathroom, in a kitchen vignette. So um, we really liked these. These were regularly $17.99 and they were on sale for $4.49. So we picked up two of these. Some of these pieces we will use in home decor projects that we're actually building. And then the things that we don't have plans for, mom and I just intend to use these in our own home. So we got two of these guys. So our next piece is this awesome jar. It's got the lid like this, so you could put um, floral stems in this. This was originally $17.99 on sale for $4.49. And again, cute with farmhouse decor, really cute with shabby chic. You could maybe even wrap some jute around the neck of this and um, hang a little starfish or something from the jute and use it for nautical. I know a lot of people are doing nautical for summer. So we thought these were really cute and we got two of these. love this piece. So these were over on the aisle where their regular everyday lanterns are. These weren't part of spring or a special collection there. And hmm, oh, hello, it's right in my hand. Uh, this was $34.99. This is the enamel porcelain, you guys. Yeah. With the little black trim. I don't know if I'm, you can see it. There you go. So $34.99 on sale for $8.74. We did get two of these and we do actually have a um, couple home decor projects that we intend to use these in. And then we got this cuteness. So this is a mason jar attached to what looks like a piece of um, casing that would go around like your doors or windows in your home. And this is was $24.99 on sale for $6.24. And we picked up three of these. And these are another piece that we have a home decor project that we're gonna build um, these for. So we will you'll see these again in an upcoming video. And then 
Oh, how we love a cloche. And so this came on this base. This was originally $39.99 and it was on sale for $9.99. And we do all kinds of things with these, whether they're um, projects that we invent, um, that we sell at our markets or pieces we use in our own, own home decor. There are so many uses for these guys. So keep your eyes peeled for great deals like this. Great for the holidays to put little winter scenes in. Yeah. Really cute, versatile. So we're back to more of this enamel wear. So this bottom larger one, as you can see, has the, the black on it. Um, this was $24.99 originally on sale for $6.24. And we only got one of these. There was only one left. And then the smaller one with the red trim was $19.99. And it was on sale for $4.99. And we picked up four of these guys. And we each may keep one. And these are going to be really cute for a project we're working on as well. Or for your garden. You can always stick some cute little perennial plants, annual plants inside. Very cute. And then there's these awesome enamel candlesticks and mom was looking at these a while back and just absolutely loved them and she passed on them so we picked these up today the taller blue one was $21.99 and it was on sale for $5.49 and as you guys have seen from our videos we know Liz and Bella and some of our other favorites um, do it as well. You can use candlesticks for so many different things, guys. You can put, uh, of course, candles on them, a garden ball. You could do a little piece of floral foam on it with some floral tack and create an arrangement that cascades down. So there's a lot of fun things that you can do with candlesticks. So we got the taller blue one. And it's got, this one has really neat detail like right here. And then it's got kind of this fluted effect on the bottom. I may keep these for my 4th of July. I, I yes. think if you're doing nautical, how cute. The navy blue and the white together. And that white one also has a navy band at the top. Well, and how cute Look to how create cute. a little vignette with these three pieces for um, 4th, of July. 4th of July and patriotic decor. So um, the white one, as you can see, it's a little smaller. It's got some really great um, embossed detail on the base. It's crackled too. I don't know if you guys are catching that on the, but I see it on the camera where Misty's mm -hmm. fingers are moved. It's got some great crackle great crackling, effect. Yes. So this one was twenty dollars and ninety nine cents, and on sale for five forty nine. So we were excited about that, and then. We scored this awesome piece. I love this piece. So a lot of uses for this. You could sort mail in it. You could sort cutlery for a picnic in it. Put napkins, forks and knives in here. Um, lots of different uh, organizational uses for this piece. And this one was normally $39.99. And it was on sale for $9.99. And paired with those other three th items, mm -hmm. cute for 4th of July for your picnic table. Super, super cute. So we love that. And we got these really fun candle sconces. And these are a little daintier than what we like and what we would probably use in our home depends maybe certain artwork it would work good with but we have a plan for a project with these and we're really excited to share that with you so once we get through this market and start working on stuff for the next one you guys will see these come out again and how we use them but this was $17.99 that each and they were on sale for $4.49 so we have a set of those Now do you see why we couldn't resist? These prices were just <laughs> crazy. crazy today. Okay, so our other pieces, we got these great little 
lanterns. You can put a candle down in this. You could do some sort of a little floral arrangement down inside of this. And these were $19.99 on sale for $4.99. And we did get two of these. You could wrap some jute rope around these two and make them very nautical. Yes. So for all you beach people. Nautical or Western. Or Western. With that. So um, we've got a project in mind for these as well. And then we got this cute little set. It's got kind of a chicken wire looking little basket and two mason jars. This was $19.99 on sale for $4.99. And again, how cute you could put fresh flowers in this or artificial forks and knives for a picnic. Candles. Candles. So lots of fun uses for this. So one of us will probably end up keeping this for ourselves. And what else did we get, Mom? Oh, we have... I've got to go grab them. I thought the bag was in here. Give us one sec. Okay, guys, sorry about that. We also picked up these super cute, they're candle pins, and it's a little corrugated galvanized rooster. And you can see on the back, they have like a pin back, and you just push these into um, candles. You could use them for many other projects as well, and that's why we like them. And this was normally $4.99 on sale for $1.24. And we picked up three of these. So what we're going to do, again, sorry for the appearance, but we weren't planning on filming today. We've been working on our chairs for our um, farmhouse table that has the pig on it and finishing up some other projects because we're leaving Friday to go to do another vintage market. And hopefully we'll get to do a lot more filming at this one than we did at the last. So, um, Hopefully we'll have a great video for you with that. So what we're gonna do is show you the projects we've been working on today, and then we'll close the video out. Okay guys, so we just went outside to start filming our progress out there, and the UPS man showed up with some really cute shirts that we ordered from one of our vendors, and they sent them to us. And um, we are gonna be taking these to our vintage market this weekend, but we're also going to have these on the website. So this is a little sneak peek. Only a few of the designs we've ordered have showed up, but hopefully tomorrow we'll get another order. So look how cute. Hold it up to your body like you had it. How yeah. cute this tee is. That looks cute. And love this little daisy. This will be super cute with some of our bee jewelry. It says hippie heart, gypsy soul, wild spirit. And I have a sweatshirt that says something really similar to this. And I got so many questions about the sweatshirt and people saying they loved this phrase. So um, hopefully you guys will like the tees. They are so soft. And really, as you can see, they're very generous in their sizing. This is a size small. And we will be carrying everything from small to 3x we will have extended sizes in some of our um items unfortunately not all of them because not all of the vendors we work with do extended sizing but in the ones that do we will be carrying this particular that. neckline too you're supposed to wear like cute little tanks under them or camis they're yeah you know, they're quite stretchy so the neckline so they're meant to have something under. and with the cute necklace it's going to be super cute so we got this one I love this. And then how cute and patriotic is this? This one says America Wild and Free. All of the shirts I'm showing are the size small guys. So super cute. This will look cute with, um, you know, jeans, denim capris, shorts. A pair of crisp white shorts would be really cute with this too. So we got that one, and then we have this one. And you guys haven't seen it too much here on our channel, but Mom and I can be a little sarcastic and joke around a lot. And we love to say that this isn't our first rodeo. So we loved this shirt. It says, this ain't my first rodeo. And it's got a cute cowgirl on a bucking horse. 
And again, this is the size small. So we're really excited. We are working on the website, guys. With this, this market we're doing this weekend was very unexpected for us. And we got invited to do it. And um, it's supposed to be a lot of fun. So um, we felt really humbled to be asked to come. And we're excited to do it. So I've been working late nights on the website and we're getting close. So hopefully once we get through this market, it'll be about a week, week and a half and we'll have the website up after that. So you'll find fun tees like this on our website along with a lot of other apparel. We might as well show them that cute sheep sign stand in there oh, that we finished. Yeah. So this is one of our signs that we used that awesome sheep transfer that's from Chalk Couture. We can put the link in the description box below. You've seen it on a few other projects that we did, but we went ahead and put it on one of these pre-made signs. And we really love how it turned out. It has a little jute hanger on the back. And then we have these cute cutting boards that we picked up. And so on this one, we did the Wicked Chickens Lay Deviled Eggs. Chalk Couture. This could be really cute, um, depending on the size of your two or three tier tray. It could be really cute on that with some smaller pieces around it. Cute on your counter. You could hang it in your kitchen from this, this ring. So lots of fun options for things like this. And the other one is Kitchen's closed, this heifer's tired. Is that what it says? Oh, oh no, this heifer's had it. <laughs> I love it. So, um, our kitchen is closed tonight. My husband said he'll bring us home something to eat. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, so, and then he surprised us today with a big treat and a fun toy. So we are gonna show you guys that as well because all of that has gone down since we started filming the Hobby Lobby Hall. So um, we hope you guys will stick with us so that you can see that as well. But we're very excited and very grateful. So um, I think we'll now take you guys outside and show you what we're working on. Okay guys, so dad just arrived home with mom and I's new toy. We have an enclosed trailer now to haul all of our goodies to our vintage markets and other events so be so nice we're gonna go check it out so we're inside our trailer mom and I are thinking we might paint the walls eventually we can also use this as a traveling boutique for our apparel put some racks in we can open this back door up, it has a, um, opens down so that it's a ramp. And then we have the side door over here. So this is going to make life so much easier because our other trailer was not enclosed. So we would have to load everything, go to a show, unload and set up, load everything, then come home and unload everything again. So now with this, we can keep everything inside the trailer. Okay guys, so these are our chairs and we did the same technique as we did on the table. We did um, a coat of blue paint first with our sprayer and we are going to include that footage in the video. And then we did a um, whitewashing technique over the blue. These still have to be uh, sanded and then sealed and we are actually adding a touch to the seats to make them a little bit unique and fun and that that will be in this color so it'll kind of tie together with our amazing pig that's on top of the table so we've been working on these today um we are finishing these nope you just got a sneak peek of something that we found today <laughs> so we're finishing these um I'm, we're not going to go with this hardware. I have some other hardware that mom and I found hardware, in our stash. That hardware is beautiful and we intend to use it. Yeah. So we need to seal these and put the knobs on them. But as you can see, we added all these um, molds. We used our Iron Orchids design mold to create the molds on these. And they, they match. So the same 
pattern is on both. These were inspired by a video that Debbie's Design Diaries did on a huge dresser. And we kind of took her ball and decided to do a, something fun on these nightstands. These were just really simple, plain, everyday wood, everyday nightstands. There was nothing exciting about them. Something so. that you buy at a nude furniture store, actually. So we transformed those. We're probably going to do a matching headboard. And I think that is it, guys. Oh, I'm working on painting a candelabra. I'll show that to you guys really quick. We'll include the uh, footage of spraying the chairs with our paint sprayer. It's really short. It's just a clip. Hi guys, so as I said in the intro, we are spraying our chairs today. We've had a lot of questions about how we do this, so we just thought we'd show you. We've got our paint sprayer hooked up to our air compressor. We've got our paint in the reservoir. It's three part paint, three parts paint to one part water. And we're just gonna start spraying. We're really just going to hit these lights because this is our undercoat. It's not going to be a solid paint this time. We just want a touch of this blue to show through under our white. These are uh, to go with our table we showed you guys in the last video that has the pig transfer on top. Okay, so you see Okay guys, so you remember this candelabra from one of our thrift store hauls. What um, we did is put a white, kind of a dry brush, but it's a little bit heavier than dry brush uh, chalk paint on it. We wanted to give this a real shabby chic, kind of romantic feel. And if you're just joining us, you remember this was brown. Yeah, this was originally brown, and I've kind of let a little bit of that show through in the in the grooves and to give it a little uh, dimension. And then we picked up these beautiful crystals at the um, sale at Summit Farm. That was the vintage market we took you to on our road trip. And what we're going to do is, I have to put the rings on here, but I'm just going to do this just so I can give you guys an idea. But they're gonna hang, they're gonna hang off of it like this. And then um, I have some really neat battery operated taper candles. And I have some really pretty French script paper that I'm gonna use to wrap the candles. And like I said, they'll be battery operated. So You'll see this again, we'll show you this with the finished candles. I may try to film a quick DIY on the candles for you, but depending on time, if I don't, I will at least show you guys the products that I used um, and just kind of do a little show and tell on how it was done. But this is our candelabra. So that completes our video today. I hope you enjoyed the haul and our big surprise and the projects that we've been working on. We've been very busy bees and we really appreciate you guys watching today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here on our channel and you'd like to follow along, on our creative journey, please consider hitting the subscribe button along with that notification bell so that you'll be notified each time we upload a new video. You can also follow us over on Facebook and Instagram. We are Queen Bees Vintage on um, both of those social media sites. And I will link those in the description box below as well as the Chalk Couture link um, in case you're interested in the cute sheep that we showed on the sign a little bit earlier in the video. And we just hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for your amazing comments too. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.